The other lead story tonight is in this twist now in the Tata versus Mistri battle. A week after Cyrus Mistri was removed as the chairman of Tata Sun, support for him came from the independent directors of Indian Hotels, one of the major Tata companies. It runs Taj Group of Hotels. In a press release today, the board said that the, ind the independent directors on the board said that we, the independent directors, unanimously express full confidence in Cyrus Mistri. The directors, which include people like Deepak Parikh, praised steps taken by Cyrus Mistri's strategic direction and leadership and said that they felt they must make their views known to the public and investors. Indian Hotels is the company that runs the Taj Hotels and if this expression of support comes at a crucial time for Cyrus Mistri, especially because the independent directors include very well-known names including Deepak Parikh. And as the statement came, earlier there were reports of organizational changes made by Ratan Tata in the Tata Group. In this, S. Padmanabhan has been made the group's human resources head and the former Tata brand custodian under Mistri's regime, Mukund Rajan, will now be responsible for the operations of its overseas offices. So just as those changes came, just a few hours later, this view, the Indian Hotels board, voting to support Cyrus Mistri winning there because they have a clear majority. And let's go across now to Srinivasan Jain, who has more on that story. Srinivasan, that really is an unexpected twist in the battle, this Indian Hotels board coming out openly in support of Cyrus Mistri. Absolutely, Sonia. In a way, this is the worst nightmare for the Tatas because Cyrus Mistri, as you know, is not just the director mm -hmm. or the chairman of Indian Hotels, but at least seven or eight other major Tata companies. And these are all independent companies, so the Tatas simply can't remove him. Now, in the case of Indian Hotels, it's quite interesting that of the 10-member board, Six independent directors have voted in support of him. Of the remaining four, two are actually Cyrus and his brother himself. And there are just two Tata executives left. So eight out of ten on that board are actually backing Cyrus Mistri. Now, one of the independent directors who I spoke to off the record says, Cyrus is doing a damn good job. And when I asked him, isn't this going to be a problem for the Tatas, he said, look, somebody had to come out and speak the truth. What options does this leave the Tatas? We're not sure. The messy, difficult option is to try and call an extraordinary general body meeting and get the majority shareholders to vote Cyrus out company by company by company. That's going to be difficult. Legally, they can try and take him to court, but again, that could be a prolonged legal battle. So it's going to be quite challenging uh, for the Tatars as they move ahead. And Srinivasan, I mean, just uh, over your years of reporting, I mean, the Tata group, traditionally a very reticent group, Ratan Tata himself. And look at the scenes we saw today as well. I mean, bouncers beating up journalists, then that scuffle, then this uh, virtual rebellion there by independent directors, all well-known names in their own right. It's interesting times, difficult times for Ratan Tata right now. Absolutely. We'll actually play you that video of that, of that scuffle which took place earlier today outside uh, Bombay House. And basically... Uh, what happened here was that uh, photographers were trying to capture Cyrus Mistri coming in and out. They got into a scuffle uh, with the Tata security and this escalated into something much more than we've seen in these scuffles. I mean, mm -hmm. individual photojournalists were uh, singled out and thrashed uh, by the Tata security. It has to be said though, Sonia, that uh, to their credit, Tata Sons came out with a very, very strong statement apologizing uh, for the action of their security officials as well as, uh, as saying that they condemn what happened to the journalists. Uh, so to that extent, uh, there was some face saving, but yeah, it really was quite unfortunate. And as you said, unprecedented to see these kinds of scenes uh, and this kind of boardroom drama uh, within the House of Tatas.